Hello, this is the art teacher and I'm filming from the art teacher studio from low budget presentation. Today I'm going to teach you step by step how to do a moon sun picture. Now the one I chose from is from Miss Beavis uh, Edlog, that's E-D-U blogs dot org. Uh, and she's not the only one who has done a picture like this with the moon and the sun. Many people have done this. I'm just choosing hers. I'm giving her credit for the picture I have here. This is what she's done. And uh, I'm going to use hers as an example. This is for educational purposes for my school. Um, and I'm going to show you how something what she might have done or other people. If you look up sun moon uh, art lesson you're going to see a lot of these out there because it's a very very popular thing but just looking at this picture here um, I see how uh, she has used um, the elements of art such as line shapes and color those are things that we've already covered before line shape and color with my crystal productions desktop reference I see this and we're focusing on color and on color the part here um, this is my part two uh, how to um, art lesson we're dealing with warm and cool colors the Sun has the warm colors the moon has the cool colors and if you turn this over uh, the principles of design uh, I can see where balance is part of this but not a big one uh, contrast is um, when there's a big difference between the elements of art that you're using and here is a really good uh, I think the contrast is going to be with this one here and pattern. So there's going to be contrast and pat pattern in this art lesson. So because I was doing this step by step, I took pictures. So let me go with the first one and let me see if you can see that. I think you can. I took a Chinese takeout container. Ooh, I love Chinese takeout, especially um, um, egg rolls. Egg rolls didn't come here. This is egg drop soup. But I placed this down on my paper and traced it and I got the circle right there. And then once I did the circle, I divided the paper in half with a vertical line that goes from top to bottom here. But I skipped the, the inside of the circle. And the inside of the circle, I did a little curve line. That will represent the moon here and this part will be the sun. Now here's where some contrast and shapes come into play. The sun will have sun rays, so I did the lines going away, away from the circle. Whereas the moon, I did the lines that um, were, were going along the um, contour edges and uh, basically tracing around the moon. So here, the lines are curving, whereas on the sun side, they're shooting away. So that's, a, that's the first contrast I can see right there. Then, the next thing is, I'm going to start to make a pattern with uh, lines and shapes. And if you can see here, I'm going to zoom in closer so you can see a little bit better. And you can see how I did a, a, a little nose here for the sun, because the sun, I mean, excuse me, the moon is facing sideways, whereas the sun is facing directly at you. So that's, there is another contrast in the uh, in this picture so there's two contrasts now and then on the moon side these um, stripes that I have here I started to do a pattern like a loopy line some di uh, diamonds some wavy lines another stripe there some dots um, big big dashes here triangle in the corner and on the Sun side I did uh, two, two patterns. I did two wavy lines in this one. Oops, sorry. Two wavy lines on this stripe here. Diamonds here, wavy lines, stripes, diamonds, di diamond, uh, stripes, diamonds, stripes, diamonds, stripe, diamonds. So here's another contrast. Here, it's a very uh, organized pattern. Uh, it goes one, two, one, two, one, two. Whereas the moon side, I have one, two, three, four, five, six stripes, except these kind of disappear, and they're all different. 
So that's the third contrast, one thing, uh, how they're different. Then I started thinking, what am I going to color this with? And I'm not a big fan of markers. And then I thought, well, let me try markers. Well, because I'm not a big fan of markers, I actually don't have a whole lot of markers. So I gathered the markers I got. Some of them were dried out. Uh, if you can see um, this green part here, they were kind of dried out in a little bit. But I was able to make it work. Um, and I started coloring this side cool. So I'm using my blues, my greens, and my purples. And I didn't have a big selection of that. So I kind of cheated. Of course, I'm making up my own rules, so it's not really cheating. What I did was, when I could not find the marker of the color I wanted, I used watercolor. So I wanted a, a more of a blue for the moon, so I got blue watercolor. And uh, of course, I did uh, erase the lines here before I started coloring. So this side here, I finished the moon side with all wall cool colors different greens, different blues. So if you can, if you're using crayon, uh, you can make a darker blue, a darker green, and a darker purple by pressing harder. Pressing uh, softer, you can get it lighter. Plus, a crayon box is going to have a lot more colors than what I have access to with markers. Uh, I could use the, do the whole thing in watercolor, but I really wanted to focus more on, uh, more on my markers. Then I started on this end, the sun side, and um, these stripes, you can see I've got them down. Then, here is the picture when it's completely colored in. Doesn't look as good. I mean, it looks okay, but there's something that's missing, isn't there? So, I needed to do some black lines. So, I got a Sharpie pen. Now, I, I, before I go further, do you see how I have colored everything in? Everything. There's no empty white space. You might see that there's some white spaces, but the only white space that is showing are in the eyes. Everything else is colored in somehow. So when you do your picture, make sure everything is colored in. Everything. You just color everything in. And if, you, if at all possible, try to make the colors bright. And if you're using a dark color, make sure you use a lighter color next to it. For instance, I have dark green here and the greens next to it are going to be lighter. So you don't want two dark colors side by side. That's for sure. Okay? So uh, once you color everything in, take a black crayon, a black Sharpie marker, something that's black that you're able to trace all the lines. When you do that, wow, what a difference. Let me go back. Let me zoom in a little closer. Look at this. Ready? Now I'm just going to show you what it looks like when you take the black and you trace everything. Big difference, huh? Big difference. Now I'm not going to leave this alone. I'm going to do one more um, little modification here and that is I'm going to add more lines and shapes or dots or something to make more of a pattern. One last time. Can you see the difference? Let's back it up one. One last little modification. I'm not done yet. I'm going to add a little bit more and there you go. I made it some um, craters in the moon. I could have added something to the sun, but I did not want to use black markers. If anything, if I had a different yellow, like a, maybe a gold marker, I could have made a pattern in the sun, but I decided not to go that route. But you can see the extra lines I have here on this one. Almost, almost every single band, every band or stripe or whatever you want to call it, band, I'm going to call them bands. Uh, almost every type of band I've added something to. And over here in the sun, I've added these extra dots and extra shapes in the diamonds. Let me go back. See how that looks? Almost like the uh, eye doctor. Which would you prefer? One, two. One, two. So, I think everybody would agree that the, most people would agree that number two is the better picture. Now let me zoom back out a little bit. Here is the fix, fin, uh, finished picture I have. So, a little bit color difference, but you can see what, how it all looks here. So this is my finished piece of work. Now let me go back so you can see 
a lot of boys and girls when they start doing it they look at this and they look uh, and they go oh, I don't like that I don't like that uh, even when you get to this part here when you look at this you might say I don't like it well you got to remember you're not finished you need to add more so with this picture I want you to remember that you need to color absolutely everything and make everything as bright as you can and if you have darker colors make sure you put on either side of them a little bit of lighter color so the darker color will show up that's contrast when you see bright next to dark that's contrast so that's the fourth contrast I have here where I have dark and light on this side and you can see the contrasting yellow here against these uh, orange and red so plus um, you can also see where th these are wavy lines whereas these are diamonds so this is very organic and this is very uh, geometric so in this picture a lot of contrast but the biggest contrast is the moon is cool colors and the sun is warm colors so I would like you to try to do a sun moon picture and do it the way I've got it done here and see what kind of contrast you can come up with with not only w cool colors and warm colors but also with the lines and the shapes that you use to create a pattern inside your picture now I will tell you this the reason I did these steps here this took me a while I could not do this in 15 minutes it took me probably an hour hour and a half maybe two hours because um, I had to kept, I had to keep stopping do something else I came back to it I must have stopped and started probably 10 to 12 times before I could finish this picture so when you do your pictures understand that you might need to step back relax and start again later on that day or maybe the next day keep it someplace safe and dry so your baby sister or brother won't eat it okay that's it for me now i'm looking forward to seeing your pictures see you next time